much. I tried giving. Yeah, he'll bite. Did you just bite my butt? <laughs> She's over there yelling at the door. I'm not coming out that door, honey. I'm over here. She's cute, but she's not too bright. Hey guys, welcome to TCR. Sid here. Thanks for clicking on the video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Do it now. You, right now. Do it. Yes. I am uber, uber excited. I am twitter peated. I am the clumped. I am super stoked. I'm gonna go get my lamb. Let's go! Christie's and we just uh, grabbed our little girl here, our little lamb, and she's all squared away, but she's mad about it right now. I don't know. I know. She doesn't know what to you do. You got buttons to play with at home. Christie's got a here. This is where we got Neil. Oh, is that his name? Neil. Neil Diamond. Oh my goodness. Yes, actually, if you come here, yeah. Neil has a brother and sister. Oh, does he? Yes. Oh. oh. Exactly. Let's go look at the goaties. I'm worried that he's too short to uh, complete the duty with He'll Caroline. Get there. I'm oh, hoping Caroline's tall. she's a little tall. Right here. That's the mama of oh. Neil. And there's this year's two babies. So there's Neil's mama. And these are this year's babies. Yeah, that's sister and brother. Hi. Oh, they're so cute. Really good oh, babies. they're beautiful. Neil needs a little girl. I know. Or a step stool. They can get the job done. I know. Oh, I've, I've, I've tried that. I've actually, I've been trying to set them up that way. Yes. But so far, he's he's got the idea down, but he hasn't executed yet. Yes. So, do you leave him permanently with the girl? Until I'm sure that she's ready had successful breeding then yes <laughs> because we had to this boy right here is neil's age uh-huh but he's a different breed he's right. full bore we kept him and to make sure that it would happen with him because he was young also mm -hmm. we gave him his own girls and never took the girls out and we really thought for sure that he wasn't getting the job done mm -hmm. and all the mamas had babies. Oh, good. Okay. He was actually more of a sure thing than our old man over there. Okay. Um, so sometimes they just need to see it all the time to have that girl all the time. Oh, yeah. She, they're together all the time. If you try to separate them, they, they scream. They love each other. Oh, he's going to yes. get her. I think so. He will. I think so. He's just, he's very, um, well, you know, he was kind of like the runt practically left She's for dead. She's not big either, you've got to think. He's like half her size. Is he he's really? He's teeny tiny. <laughs> He's, and I keep thinking he's gonna have a growth spurt. It's gonna come, but he's that tiny. He's tiny. And well, you I know, mean, it's funny because yeah. her, her daughter is is actually very tiny. She's almost ready to go to a house at eight weeks. She's tiny. Yeah, isn't that it's, amazing? It's funny. He's he's short, so I always tell him he's got a Napoleon complex because he can't quite get the job done, but he's trying really hard. Oh my gosh! And what is so. the girl you got? Was she something big? She's like Nubian. Nubian. Oh boy! Yeah. yeah, yeah. And they're tall. And she's tall. Seems to be my luck with these guys so far, but I'm hoping. Hopeful that I'll, it might still happen. We'll see. And he's got a good set of balls. Have you checked? Oh, yeah. Oh, then it's her. <laughs> he's packing heat. <laughs> yes, because usually well, they are. I did have to take him to the vet because he did develop some urinary calculi. So I they saw snipped that. off the pizzle. That's but I've been, he's been real good ever since. What and do they do? They snip the end of it off? Yeah, so they sedate him and then they pull it out. And then they just snip the pizzle off. Yeah. And he went down like a rock because he's so small. So he's like, I gave him a half dose and he literally like had it pulled the syringe off and just dropped. Yeah. So then he chopped the end of it off and he pulled a bunch of little stones that were right at the tip out. And I've been giving him the um, ammonium chloride. I've and heard of people getting it. I've never, and I only am another one spreading the rumors like everybody, where everybody says alfalfa. Yeah. I never said it. Alfalfa. And mine actually get alfalfa. Yeah. yeah. Because it's so hard to be perfect with just giving the boys grass that right. ours commonly will get. Right, because you have to you'd have to separate them every time you feed. Exhausting. And, yes. Yes. That that extra diet thing. Oh my gosh, poor little dude. dude. He, but he's like a little champion. They are. Poor they are. These, two. Uh, these are new. Hi. No, we've had them. Um, oh, I've just never seen them out here before. Well, we're trying to get them to lose, burn some calories. Oh, were you getting chunky? Yes, they got some COVID oh. chunk going. Oh. Uh, 
Oh, and then someone cute. said, oh, when they get fat on their necks here like this, it's death. And I thought, Calvin oh. has enough fat for everybody right here. Hi. So I, they're on a diet. You're so cute. Uh, they oh. are. They love it. They go, we love you. you I want a mini donkey. They are really, I have to say. They're so okay. cute. I know. She's super mad. They are the coolest uh. pet. They are neat. My yeah. husband was like, all you need is another animal. And I was like, I have to have these guys. They are cool. I want donkeys and I don't want big ones. And these are cool. They're fun. This is like the extent of what they do. They're awesome. I, I'd like to believe they protect the yard at night. I don't think they do. They play at night and, and well, drag all the bulls and stuff around the yard. They're and, supposed to keep the coyotes away. They are. Do so you? So you'll keep, keep the coyotes away? Because oh. you're so sweet. They're suckers. Oh my god, they're adorable. Yes, and this is the extent of their life You guys right are now. so cool. Ah. How cool it's are the these guys? They're the same as the alpacas, though. They do nothing either. Ah. And yet somehow I own them. Yeah. I said I would only own things that had a purpose and I could either make some money or eat and well, we laugh. That's like my pea fowl. They serve like no purpose other than eventually when they're old enough to breed. And At least I they're beautiful. The yeah. And the babies have got to sell for something. Oh yeah, they do. Because yeah. heck, nobody has them. Right. Like there's a couple people that have them, I yeah. know. I just, it, they take forever to reach maturity before they breed. So it's, again, One of it's those. a waiting game. Where, and they fly yeah. away so easily. Who's gonna cut their wings? Right. You want them to look beautiful. Right? You're like, shoot. Exactly. Right. You'd It'll be fly surprised if you, if you pet them up for a while first, um, and then they have enough places around here. Honestly, they'll end up hanging out with your turkeys. I'm like, they, they might oh. fly into a coyote's mouth somewhere. Or no, they're pretty good. I mean, they'll they'll hang out with your turkey. Uh, mine, I, they stay in my turkey pen right now. And then once they reach maturity and make sure that they're like settled, settled, mm -hmm. then I can let them out more. But in the beginning, they say like, don't let them out. That's what I heard. Oh, you guys are so cool. They are, aren't they? Oh they're bad. The minis are so much sweeter too than the full grown yeah. ones. Yeah. I don't think the full grown ones quite care as much yeah. about people. And these guys love attention. Yeah, they are. Yeah. They are in and give you kisses. They are cool. I know. Well, I now can't. I have another thing to add to my wish list right? for my husband. You do. And, and there's, there's always another. Here. That's the problem. No. Yeah. Now we have four cows and we weren't supposed to have any. Just one to eat, that's it. Right, well, you'll be able to sell. Oh, and I was like, man, it's right. an opportunity. We got to get these guys. And my husband's just like, well, let me know when you're ready for sure, because. Yes, and I have two. Those two are the big ones. Are girls that are pregnant. Oh, and I don't didn't plan on doing that at all. Well, you are. But I was like, well, <laughs> let's see what it's like to have babies. They better do it on their own because oh, they're not they that will. friendly. Yeah, they will. There's going to be sure. no assistance other than me cheering them on. Right. Yeah. <laughs> if you're lucky, they'll just drop in the middle of the night. That's you what I know. Hoping. Yeah. I got this girl left here too. This goat. I'm like, she's never had babies, and she is just like, how, how far out do you think she is? Any minute. Any minute. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm She was just moaning so bad, so I don't see any contractions on her, but she's... Getting there? She's there. She's going to bust something cute out. I just know it. Yeah. Everybody. We were kind of done with the babies, though. We had tons of pig babies. We accidentally I let our boy... I told you, we tried to pig breed, yeah. like you're doing with the goat, and it didn't work. Yeah. We ate all seven giant hogs. Yeah. Then I get this little horny monster Mr. Pickles over there. <laughs> and I told my daughter just to be careful coming in the yard, because I'm like, he might get you pregnant just from the distance. He's, he's like getting every animal pregnant. Right? <laughs> we had little girl pigs have babies that weren't supposed to even be breeding. Oh, geez. Yeah, you want to see some pig babies? Come yeah. On. Is it the straight Mexican hairless or are those the those cross? Are, they're all across because okay. I don't have a male. Gotcha. I only have a female, so they're always across. But what's funny is people want to eat designer animals now too, so they don't want to eat an all black pig because that's, that's not so cute. That's so weird. <laughs> Tell me about it. So I, I told my husband, this is The insane. city folk. You want to eat a spotted cute pig, I wouldn't even want to eat that. Right? I want to keep that. Exactly. Oh my God. So these they're are brand, insane. brand new. These are only, actually, these are four weeks old. Really? Yep. They're four weeks? Four weeks. Look at old. these little munchkins. Yeah, they were just castrated <gasps> on Sunday. Oh my God. God. So she did have two hairless out of her bunch. Yeah, she did. Um, but the rest are just like daddy, pretty hairy, huh, Dill? And Dill was only four months old when and she got pregnant. He's a pot belly, right? He's a pot yeah. belly, yeah, and she's a cross. 
Oh, oh what's she crossed with? I thought she's the first generation. The mother is Mexican hairless. Okay. The father's pot belly. Okay. So the mother had this Hi, baby. baby. Hi. Now she made it back to her dad, the pot belly. So she's a 50-50. Gotcha. So these are probably set these ones like this is mm -hmm. probably 75% now. So if we went down one more generation, they'd be a hundred percent pot belly. Again. Right. Oh, honey. Man, they're she was a cute. baby though when she got pregnant. I mean, they're they tiny. are horny. These you braids. are so tiny. They go, we're big. What? This is my favorite. She is so She's sweet. She's adorable. But yeah, these are all dinner. Are you all dinner? All of them. I know no, people no get pigs people anymore. People get really freaked out about people talking about eating pot belly pigs, but people don't realize that that's a thing. That's a dinner that's meal. People. They have eaten pot belly pigs for a long time. They don't realize that the Cooney Cooney, the American Guinea, and the pot belly are all a lard breed right. pig. But they look at the pot belly and they go, oh, its belly's big and hanging. Yes, that's just how it looks. Right. It's a pot belly. Right. They're all the same delicious, like, heritage meat. And until people try it, they have no clue what they're missing out exactly. on. They all want a commercial hog. And they're so lean, there's no fat on it, unless you wait till it's blubbery and big and overgrown. Right. And yeah, it, it's, Oh yeah, the, some of the best lard that we've had was from our AG. Yes, the, like that's right. Amazing leaf lard yep. for cooking and just the bomb. And you don't end up with 500 pounds of meat, which right. who needs that? Right, for a small family like us, it's ideal. So I've, I've been trying to stick to that now and, and kind of, my husband likes the shires and, and doing like the, the waddle shire We have tosses. another big one we're keeping. My husband yeah. picked out one. He's all, we're keeping this one right here. And I thought, I'm, yeah. I'm fine. I kept four of the little guys from the first litter breed that I was like, I have to have these four. They're going to be perfect. Oh, oh God, a big they're girl. cute. She's such a good mommy. She you is. Know, so Look at that. I have to say, too, these heritage breeds, I have yet to find one mama that was bad. But I have had right. big pigs that were bad moms. Yeah. Just bad. I don't know if it's the size. I'm not sure. I think, well, and I've noticed this with the AGHs that we've had, is their their temperament is just better in general. Yes. And they just, I think it just goes to, they just tend to be a little bit more motherly, I guess. And I can let them out in the yard and they don't break anything. Right. And they eat so small amounts. This pen right here is where we put Sheila with her eight giant babies. The amount of poo, this is nothing. Right. It is so disgusting, I can't even stand myself. It's just everywhere. It's like yeah. grossness. The bigger the animal, the bigger the poop. Yeah, that's why this year we're waiting. I'm going to get a, a pig probably in June. Yep. And that way it'll be ready to butcher, you know, by winter time. So are we're not trying to butcher in the summer. Are you going to do big this time or American Guinea again? I think I'm going to do, it. Did, well, it's going to depend on what I can find at the time. But I'm hoping that I can do either, um, you know, another American Guinea. Yep. Or if you've got ones at the right age in June, I'll grab one from you. Try one of these crosses out. Oh man, I know. I, I plan on breeding this girl right here in April. Margo in the back. Oh yeah? She's the same age as that one there, She which we've been holding off. She's like so ready to, to breed, but we keep holding her back because she should be a little bigger. That's the original Mexican hairless. There you are. So Hi, Mama. from her. Are you the grand mama? She was just in yes, heat trying to hold everything. I'm like, yeah. oh my gosh, she just wants to have babies every minute. Do I just want to have all the babies? She loves babies. Do you huh. like to be the mama? This is Margo. This is one's going to put out some really good looking babies. Hi, Margo. Margo, get over here. Oh, oh. No, nope, she's done. She, she wanted to lay down. You want to give love too? She's like, <laughs> oh, I want to give a kiss. That's Chucky. Kisses. He's dinner. Hi, Chucky. Choppy right there is go. That's one of her first babies. That big dude laying down. Aww. He's going in next month. He's a big one. He's Holy a big moly. In. Yeah, he has. He has enjoyed life. Yeah. Needless You've to been, say. Did you do your COVID fifteen? He doesn't like to move much. It's <laughs> right. part of the problem. So right. Some of them do like to move, and then there's Choppy. Oh yeah, I've had I've had <laughs> pigs that like wouldn't sit still. Yes. And then I've had pigs that like. What, is it alive? Should I put a mirror under its Choppy no. is yeah. doing his daily activities right now. Right? He moves from there to there and never moves again. That's it. That's Choppy's life. And, and that's so bad. Minds the most, we laugh because we're like, we think Choppy has an eating disorder too. <laughs> Possibly a thyroid problem. Because none of them put weight on like him. Yeah, that's he's a, he's a blob. Blind. It's like he's eating all of their food. I know. He's hoarding it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably is putting him all into sausage <laughs> because I'm yeah. like uh, he's gonna be here a tub. Yeah, 
Are you saying sure. bye to your friend? I know. We've got the whole crew here to, to do the send off. I'm so excited for you. I am too. She's gonna be nice and big. You can be a good girl. girl. You can go play with my goaties. Her mom is my best. You can go play with my goaties. Goes, yes, I will. Yeah. I love you. You won't yeah. want to eat me because I'm so darn I know. sweet. Oh, nibbles. I know. Yeah. You hungry? We'll get you some food when we get she home. She goes, I love our Ooh, butt butt so much. I tried giving. Yeah, he'll bite Did your you butt. Did you just bite my butt? <laughs> <laughs> I know so you're so mad. Out. You're so mad. Oh, she likes okay. you though. Yes, we have all kinds of yummies at home for you, huh? Yes, we do. I think I like. Do you. we have all you, kinds you of yummies? Oh, that's a good baby. Are you eating my butt? Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah, they're boys. They're boys. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's got your shirt. Oh, is that? What? <laughs> Yeah, he nipped my butt and then so cut my shirt. you gave yeah, him attention and he didn't want you to stop. Oh, and you figure they have another way of grabbing you, so Did you? He's, I can't pet you and turn around. Yeah, if he's got my shirt. But like I would really like Hi. if you just stayed. Hi. Can I go with you? Do you What's have lots doing? of? Yeah, I do. There we go. Oh, and you're gonna eat my foot. Oh God. What are you doing, guys? <laughs> Next on the list. I know. Is these? <laughs> You can always ride them like Jesus style. Right? So, just got back from Christie's and I love her farm. I love her animals. I love all their stories. And this little girl is going to now be our little lady. She's very talkative. She talks the whole way home. Very loud today, huh? Oh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine once you get some loves. I know. You want a nipples. I know. She's mad. She's been cooped up in here. Let's get her out of here. So here's our new little girl, got her home, and uh, she was in the crate a little longer than I planned because Christy and I started gabbing, so um, she's a little bit upset right now, but she'll simmer down. They always are, you know, anytime you transport an animal, they always get a little wigged out. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these guys up for the night. I got bit by a donkey today, that was fun. Um, yeah, see, there's some oh. teeth marks. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but. Oh man, guys, it is a beautiful glimpse at early spring today. It is like beautiful out. Uh, it's supposed to be nice for the next couple of days and then we're supposed to get some cruddy weather again and back into the cold temperatures. But I'm telling you, I'm trying to enjoy it while it's lasting because it is so nice out. It's like perfect ideal spring weather. But uh, I wanted to come out here and take a peek at the lamb. So she's my little Dorset lamb, which is a dual purpose. Really, really. Um, and she's just absolutely the sweetest. In fact, let me see if I can sneak up on them. They're over here in the corner. Linda, I have named since I have Neil Diamond. Oh, this is my chick that hatched the other day, guys. That the duck and the chicken were sitting on. So that little one hatched. Oh, it's been about five days now. So, and then you hear Linda, she's calling for me. She gets excited when she sees me. So we'll say hi to Linda. Linda Ronstadt. Because we have Neil Diamond. And we have we have Sweet Caroline. And now, and now we have little Linda Ronstadt. Hi, Linda. Hi, sweet baby. Hi. Oh, you're such a love, huh? Frankie took her over on a lead. Yes, to where we had some nice green growing for her let her eat some of the grasses that have grown up after these rains. Huh, you like laying in the shade with the goats, huh? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. This is the first lamb that I've had, and I knew it would be this way, getting a lamb from Christy. Don't eat my juice. <coughs> I know, I stopped petting you. You know, and she even said, she's like, man, I haven't been playing with them as much as I normally do and handling them as much. But, I mean, <laughs> all the, the previous, previous lambs that I've had, there's no way that I could even walk up and pet them like this. And now granted, she's just weaned and uh, she's just a love, huh? But you're gonna be delicious when you get big, huh? It's 
stop eating my butt, Caroline. Caroline's uh, definitely been putting Linda through her paces, but uh, she's doing good. So yeah, a little Dorset lamb. She's gonna get uh, quite a bit bigger. Stop pulling the, I've got rhinestones on my, on my shorts and she's trying to pull them off. She's being a brat. She is uh, a little Dorset lamb and she's going to get fairly big um, as lambs go. They're a pretty meaty variety and I'll probably have to shear her in the early part of summer. As you can see, Linda is getting along really well with Neil and Caroline now. Today is her second full day here. Caroline actually put her through her paces. Uh, the first full day they were together, she kept trying to headbutt her and kind of establish dominance. Uh, but I think she's realized now that, you know, she's a baby and she's just, she's here and it is what it is. And she's, you know, she's done her thing and now she's fine. <laughs> so I'm super happy that I've got my lamb and that I can just let her free range. Like I said, Frankie put her on a lead earlier and took her back to one of the old pens that's overgrown. So I told Frankie we're gonna take the geese back there and the goats and the lamb in rotation uh, so that we can kind of clear out some of that back area because my Cornish, because of the bad weather in the Midwest and South, got pushed back until the beginning of March. So they won't be ready for uh, to go out to any kind of pasture for another four weeks after that. So we're looking at the beginning of you know what let's see what is this month we're in february so march so april there we go i can do math yeah. sid had a little lamb little lammy but yeah they're doing really well and she's getting along with everybody which makes me happy because i like it when everybody gets along Ooh, mama muscovy is off her nest right now let's see if we can't take a peek and see what's going on in there real quick before she hops back in Let's see how they're looking. It's got a bunch of chicken eggs in there. The duck eggs are still, by my calculations, a little while out. But some of those chicken eggs, man, I'm starting to wonder if... Although I know some, some of them snuck in there and laid after she'd already started sitting. I have no idea some of those eggs, <laughs> what, they're, what they're looking like. That's it, guys. This is our new little lamb. Little Linda Ronstadt to go along with Neil Diamond and uh, she's a sweetie. So I'm super excited that uh, she's able to graze and play with these guys, that was the plan. She's a peach, she's super sweet, and uh, she's gonna raise up real nicely. Hopefully she'll quiet down. This is her first couple days here. She gets a little screamy, uh, basically when she's awake. Um, but you know, Caroline did the same thing when we first got her. That's just, you know, getting getting settled in and getting, you know, used to the, the new digs. So I'm not too worried about that. She's over there yelling at the door. I'm not coming out that door, honey. I'm over here. She's cute, but she's not too bright. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell so you get the notifications. Meh. Meh.